أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أليف لام ميم الله There is no God but He, the living, the self-subsisting, eternal. It is He who sent down to you step by step in truth the book, confirming what went before it, and He sent down the law of Moses and the gospel of Jesus. Before this, as a guide to mankind, and he sent down the criterion of judgment between right and wrong. Then those who reject faith in the signs of Allah will suffer the severest penalty, and Allah is exalted in might, Lord of retribution. From Allah verily nothing is hidden on earth or in the heavens. He it is who shapes you in the wombs as he pleases. There is no God but He, the exalted in might, the wise. He it is who has sent down to you the book. In it are the verses, basic or fundamental of established meaning. They are the foundation of the book. Others are not of well-established meaning, but those in whose hearts is perversity follow the path thereof that is not of well-established meaning, seeking discord and searching for its hidden meanings. But no one knows its true meanings except Allah. And those who are firmly grounded in knowledge say, We believe in the book, the whole of it is from our Lord, and none will grasp the message except men of understanding. Our Lord, they say, let not our hearts deviate now after you have guided us, but grant us mercy from your own presence, for you are the grantor of bounties without measure. Our Lord, You are he that will gather mankind together against a day about which there is no doubt, for Allah never fails in his promise. Those who reject faith, neither their possessions nor their numerous progeny will avail them aught against Allah. They are themselves but fuel for the fire. Their plight will be no better than that of the people of Pharaoh and their predecessors. They denied our signs and Allah called them to account for their sins. For Allah is strict in punishment. Say to those who reject faith, Soon will you be vanquished, and gather together to hell an evil bed indeed to lie on. There has already been for you a sign in the two armies that met in combat. One was fighting in the cause of Allah, the other resisting Allah. These saw with their own eyes twice their number, but Allah does support with His aid whom He pleases. In this is a warning for such as have eyes to see. Fair in the eyes of men is the love of things they covet, women and sons. Heaped up hordes of gold and silver, horses branded for blood and excellence, and wealth of cattle and well-tilled land. Such are the possessions of this world's life. But in nearness to Allah is the best of the goals to return to. Say, shall I give you glad tidings of things far better than those? For the righteous are gardens in nearness to their Lord, with rivers flowing beneath, therein is their eternal home, with companions pure and holy, and the good pleasure of Allah, for in Allah's sight are all his servants. Namely those who say, Our Lord, we have indeed believed, forgive us, then our sins, and save us from the agony of the fire. Those who show patience, firmness, and self-control, who are true in word and deed, who worship devoutly, who spend in the way of Allah, and who pray for forgiveness in the early hours of the morning. There is no God but He, that is the witness of Allah, His angels, and those endured with knowledge standing firm on justice. There is no God but He, the exalted in power, the wise. The religion before Allah is Islam, submission to His will. Nor did the people of the book descend therefrom, except through envy of each other, after knowledge had come to them. But if any deny the signs of Allah, Allah is swift in calling to account. So, if they dispute with you, say, I have submitted my whole self to Allah, and so have those who follow me. And say to the people of the book and to those who are unlearned, Do you also submit yourselves? If they do, they are in right guidance. But if they turn back, your duty is to convey the message, and in Allah's sight are all His servants. As to those who deny the signs of Allah and in defiance of right slay the prophets, 
and slay those who teach just dealing with mankind, announce to them a grievous penalty. They are those whose works will bear no fruit in this world and in the hereafter, nor will they have anyone to help. Have you not turned your vision to those who have been given a portion of the book? They are invited to the book of Allah to settle their dispute, but a party of them turn back and decline the arbitration. This because they say, The fire shall not touch us, but for a few numbered days, for their forgeries deceive them as to their own religion. But how will they fare when we gather them together against a day about which there is no doubt, and each soul will be paid out just what it has earned, without favor or injustice? Say, O oh Allah, Lord of power and rule, you give power to whom you please, and you strip of power from whom you please. You endure with honor whom you please, and you bring low whom you please. In your hand is all good. Verily, over all things you have power. You cause the night to gain on the day, and you cause the day to gain on the night. You bring the living out of the dead, and you bring the dead out of the living. And you give sustenance to whom you please, without measure. Let not the believers take for friends or helpers unbelievers, rather than believers. If any do that, in nothing will there be help from Allah, except by way of precaution, that you may guard yourselves from them. But Allah cautions you to remember Himself, for the final goal is to Allah. Say, whether you hide what is in your hearts or reveal it, Allah knows it all. He knows what is in the heavens and what is on the earth, and Allah has power over all things. On the day when every soul will be confronted with all the good it has done, and all the evil it has done, it will wish there were a great distance between it and its evil. But Allah cautions you to remember Himself, and Allah is full of kindness to those that serve Him. Say, if you do love Allah, follow me. Allah will love you and forgive you your sins, for Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. Say, obey Allah and His Messenger, but if they turn back, Allah loves not those who reject faith. Allah did choose Adam and Noah, the family of Abram, and the family of Imran, above all people. Offspring, one of the other, and Allah hears and knows all things. Behold, a woman of Imran said, O my Lord, I do dedicate unto you what is in my womb for your special service, so accept this of me, for you hear and know all things. When she was delivered, she said, O my Lord, behold, I am delivered of a female child, and Allah knew best what she brought forth, and no wise is the male like the female. I have named her Mary, and I commend her and her offspring to your protection from the evil one, the rejected. Right graciously did her Lord accept her. He made her grow in purity and beauty. To the care of Zachariah was she assigned. Every time that he entered her chamber to see her, he found her supplied with sustenance. He said, O oh Mary, where comes this to you? She said, From Allah, for Allah provides sustenance to whom he pleases, without measure. There did Zechariah pray to his Lord, saying, O oh my Lord, grant unto me from you a progeny that is pure, for you are he that hears prayer. While he was standing in prayer in the chamber, the angels called unto him, Allah does give you glad tidings of Yahya, witnessing the truth of a word from Allah, and be besides noble, chaste, and a prophet of the goodly company of the righteous. He said, O oh my Lord, how shall I have a son, seeing I am very old, and my wife is barren? Thus was the answer does Allah accomplish what He wills? He said, O oh my Lord, give me a sign. Your sign was the answer, shall be that you shall speak to no man for three days, but with signals. Then celebrate the praises of your Lord again and again, and glorify Him in the evening and in the morning. Behold, the angel said, O oh Mary, Allah has chosen you and purified you, chosen you above the women of all nations. O Mary, worship your Lord devoutly, prostrate yourself, and bow down in prayer with those who bow down. 
This is part of the tidings of the things unseen, which we reveal unto you, O prophet, by inspiration. You were not with them when they cast lots with arrows, as to which of them should be charged with the care of Mary, nor were you with them when they disputed the point. Behold, the angel said, O Mary, Allah gives you glad tidings of a word from him. His name will be Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, held in honor in this world and the hereafter, and of the company of those nearest to Allah. He shall speak to the people in cradle and in maturity, and he shall be of the company of the righteous. She said, O oh my Lord, how shall I have a son when no man has touched me? He said, Even so, Allah creates what he wills when he has decreed a plan, but he says, To it be and it is. And Allah will teach him the book and wisdom, the law and the gospel, and appoint him a messenger to the children of Israel with this message, I have come to you with a sign from your Lord, in that I make for you out of clay the figure of a bird, and breathe into it, and it becomes a bird. By Allah's leave, and I heal those born blind and the lepers, and I quicken the dead. By Allah's leave, and I declare to you what you eat and what you store in your houses. Surely therein is a sign for you if you did believe. I have come to you to attest the law which was before me, and to make lawful to you part of what was before forbidden to you. I have come to you with a sign from your Lord. So fear Allah and obey me. It is Allah who is my Lord and your Lord. Then worship him. This is a way that is straight. When Jesus found unbelief on their part, he said, Who will be my helpers to the work of Allah? Said the disciples, We are Allah's helpers. We believe in Allah. And do you bear witness that we are Muslims? Our Lord, we believe in what you have revealed, and we follow the messenger. Then write us down among those who bear witness. And the unbelievers plotted and planned, and Allah too planned, and the best of planners is Allah. Behold, Allah said, O Jesus, I will take you and raise you to myself, and clear you of the falsehoods of those who blaspheme. I will make those who follow you superior to those who reject faith. To the day of resurrection, then shall you all return unto me, and I will judge between you of the matters wherein you dispute. As to those who reject faith, I will punish them with terrible agony, in this world and in the hereafter, nor will they have anyone to help. As to those who believe and work righteousness, Allah will pay them in full their reward, but Allah loves not those who do wrong. This is what we rehearse unto you of the signs and the message of wisdom. The similitude of Jesus before Allah is as that of Adam. He created him from dust, then said to him, Be, and he was. The truth comes from your Lord alone, so be not of those who doubt. If anyone disputes in this matter with you, now, after full knowledge, has come to you, say, Come, let us gather together our sons and your sons, our women and your women, ourselves and yourselves, then let us earnestly pray and invoke the curse of Allah on those who lie. This is the true account, there is no God except Allah, and Allah, He is indeed the exalted in power, the wise. But if they turn back, Allah has full knowledge of those who do mischief. Say, O people of the book, come to common terms as between us and you, that we worship none but Allah, that we associate no partners with him, that we erect not from among ourselves lords and patrons other than Allah. If then they turn back, say ye, bear witness that we at least are Muslims bowing to Allah's will. You people of the book, why dispute you about Abram when the law and the gospel were not revealed till after him? Have you no understanding? Ah, you are those who fell to disputing, even in matters of which you had some knowledge. But why dispute you in matters of which you have no knowledge? It is Allah who knows, and you who know not. Abram was not a Jew, nor yet a Christian. But he was true in faith, and bowed his will to Allah's, which is Islam. And he joined not gods with Allah. Without a doubt, among men, the nearest of kin to Abram, are those who follow him, as are also this prophet, and those who believe, and Allah is the protector of those who have faith.
It is a wish of a section of the people of the book to lead you astray, but they shall lead astray not you, but themselves, and they do not perceive. You people of the book, why reject you the signs of Allah, of which you are yourselves witnesses? You people of the book, why do you clothe truth with falsehood, and conceal the truth while you have knowledge? A section of the people of the book say, Believe in the morning what is revealed to the believers, but reject it at the end of the day. Perhaps they may themselves turn back. And believe no one unless he follows your religion. Say, true guidance is the guidance of Allah. Fear you lest a revelation be sent to someone else, like unto that which was sent unto you, or that those receiving such revelation should engage you in argument before your Lord. Say, all bounties are in the hand of Allah. He grants them to whom he pleases, and Allah cares for all, and he knows all things. For his mercy, he specially chooses whom he pleases, for Allah is the Lord of bounties unbounded. Among the people of the book are some who, if entrusted with a hoard of gold, will readily pay it back. Others who, if entrusted with a single silver coin, will not repay it unless you constantly stood demanding because they say, there is no call on us to keep faith with these ignorant pagans. But they tell a lie against Allah, and well they know it. Nay, those that keep their plighted path and act aright, verily Allah loves those who act aright. As for those who sell the faith they owe to Allah, and their own plighted word for a small price, they shall have no portion in the hereafter. Nor will Allah deign to speak to them, or look at them on the day of judgment. Nor will he cleanse them of sin, they shall have a grievous penalty. There is among them a section who distort the book with their tongues. As they read, you would think it is a part of the book, but it is no part of the book, and they say, that is from Allah. But it is not from Allah. It is they who tell a lie against Allah, and well they know it. It is not possible that a man, to whom is given the book and wisdom, and the prophetic office, should say to people, Be you my worshippers rather than Allah's. On the contrary, he would say, Be you worshippers of him who is truly the cherisher of all. For you have taught the book and you have studied it earnestly. Nor would he instruct you to take angels and prophets for lords and patrons. What? Would he bid you to unbelief after you have bowed your will to Allah in Islam? Behold, Allah took the covenant of the prophet, saying, I give you a book and wisdom. Then comes to you a messenger confirming what is with you. Do you believe in him and render him help? Allah said, Do you agree and take this my covenant as binding on you? They said, We agree. He said, Then bear witness, and I am with you among the witnesses. If any turn back after this, they are perverted transgressors. Do they seek for other than the religion of Allah, while all creatures in the heavens and on earth have willing or unwilling bowed to his will accepted Islam, and to him shall they all be brought back. Say, we believe in Allah, and in what has been revealed to us, and what was revealed to Abram, Ismail, Isaac, Jacob, and the tribes, and in the books given to Moses, Jesus, and the prophets. From their Lord, we make no distinction between one and another among them, and to Allah do we bow our will in Islam. If anyone desires a religion other than Islam, submission to Allah, never will it be accepted of him. And in the hereafter he will be in the ranks of those who have lost all spiritual good. How shall Allah guide those who reject faith, after they accepted it and bore witness, that the messenger was true, and that clear signs had come unto them? But Allah guides not a people unjust. Of such the reward is that on them rests the curse of Allah, of his angels, and of all mankind. In that will they dwell, nor will their penalty be lightened, nor a spite be their lot. Except for those that repent even after that, and make amends for verily Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. But those who reject faith after they accepted it, and then go on adding to their defiance of faith, never will their repentance be accepted. For they are those who have of set purpose gone astray. As to those who reject faith and die rejecting, never would be accepted from any such as much gold as the earth contains, though they should offer it for ransom. For such is in store a penalty grievous, and they will find no helpers.
By no means shall you attain righteousness unless you give freely of that which you love, and whatever you give of a truth Allah knows it well. All food was lawful to the children of Israel, except what Israel made unlawful for itself, before the law of Moses was revealed. Say, bring you the law and study it, if you be men of truth. If any, after this, invent a lie and attribute it to Allah, they are indeed unjust wrongdoers. Say, Allah speaks the truth, follow the religion of Abraham, the sane in faith. He was not of the pagans. The first house of worship appointed for men was that at Bakka, full of blessing and of guidance for all kinds of beings. In it are signs manifest, for example, the station of Abram, whoever enters it attains security. Pilgrimage thereto is a duty men owe to Allah, those who can afford the journey. But if any deny faith, Allah stands not in need of any of these creatures. Say, O people of the book, why reject you the signs of Allah, when Allah is himself witness to all you do? Say, O you people of the book, why obstruct you those who believe from the path of Allah, seeking to make it crooked, while you were yourselves witnesses to Allah's covenant? But Allah is not unmindful of all that you do. O you who believe, if you listen to a faction among the people of the book, they would indeed render you apostates after you have believed. And how would you deny faith, while unto you are rehearsed the signs of Allah, and among you lives the messenger? Whoever holds firmly to Allah will be shown a way that is straight. O you who believe, fear Allah as he should be feared, and die not except in a state of Islam. And I will fast altogether by the rope which Allah stretches out for you, and be not divided among yourselves. And remember with gratitude Allah's favor on you, for you were enemies and he joined your hearts in love, so that by his grace you became brethren, and you were on the brink of the pit of fire, and he saved you from it. Thus does Allah make his signs clear to you, that you may be guided. Let there arise out of you a band of people inviting to all that is good enjoining what is right and forbidding what is wrong. They are the ones to attain felicity. Be not like those who are divided amongst themselves and fall into disputations after receiving clear signs, for them is a dreadful penalty. On the day when some faces will be lit up with white and some faces will be in the gloom of black, to those whose faces will be black will be said, Did you reject faith after accepting it? Taste then the penalty for rejecting faith. But those whose faces will be lit with white, they will be in the light of Allah's mercy, therein to dwell forever. These are the signs of Allah, we rehearse them to you in truth, and Allah means no injustice to any of his creatures. To Allah belongs all that is in the heavens and on earth. To him do all questions go back for decision. You are the best of peoples, evolved for mankind, enjoining what is right, forbidding what is wrong, and believing in Allah. If only the people of the book had faith, it were best for them. Among them are some who have faith, but most of them are perverted transgressors. They will do you no harm, barring a trifling annoyance. If they come out to fight you, they will show you their backs, and no help shall they get. Shame is pitched over them, like a tent, wherever they are found, except when under a covenant of protection from Allah and from men, they draw on themselves wrath from Allah, and pitched over them is the tent of destitution. This because they rejected the signs of Allah, and slew the prophets in defiance of right. This because they rebelled and transgressed beyond bounds. Not all of them are alike, of the people of the book are a portion that stand for the right, they rehearse the signs of Allah all night long, and they prostrate themselves in adoration. They believe in Allah and the last day. They enjoin what is right and forbid what is wrong, and they hasten in emulation in all good works. They are in the ranks of the righteous. Of the good that they do, nothing will be rejected of them, for Allah knows well those that do right. Those who reject faith... Neither their possessions nor their numerous progeny will avail them aught against Allah. They will be companions of the fire, dwelling therein forever. What they spend in the life of this material world 
may be likened to a wind which brings a nipping frost. It strikes and destroys the harvest of men who have wronged their own souls. It is not Allah that has wronged them, but they wrong themselves. O you who believe, take not into your intimacy those outside your ranks. They will not fail to corrupt you. They only desire your ruin. Rank hatred has already appeared from their mouths. What their hearts conceal is far worse. We have made plain to you the signs if you have wisdom. Ah, you are those who love them, but they love you not. Though you believe in the whole of the book, when they meet you they say, We believe. But when they are alone, they bite off the very tips of their fingers at you in their rage. Say, Perish in your rage. Allah knows well all the secrets of the heart. If aught that is good befalls you, it grieves them. But if some misfortune overtakes you, they rejoice at it. But if you are constant and do right, not the least harm will their cunning do to you. For Allah compasses round about all that they do. Remember that morning you left the household early to post the faithful at their stations for battle, and Allah hears and knows all things. Remember two of your parties meditated cowardice, but Allah was their protector, and in Allah should the faithful ever put their trust. Allah had helped you at Bidr, when you were contemptible little force, then fear Allah, thus may you show your gratitude. Remember you said to the faithful, is it not enough for you that Allah should help you with three thousand angels, specially sent down? Yea, if you remain firm and act right, even if the enemy should rush here on you in hot haste, your Lord would help you with five thousand angels, making a terrific onslaught. Allah made it but a message of hope for you, and an assurance to your hearts in any case. There is no help except from Allah, the exalted, the wise. That he might cut off a fringe of the unbelievers, or expose them to infamy, and they should then be turned back, frustrated of their purpose. Not for you, but for Allah is the decision, whether you turn in mercy to them or punish them, for they are indeed wrongdoers. To Allah belongs all that is in the heavens and on earth. He forgives whom he pleases and punishes whom he pleases, but Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. O you who believe, devour not usury, doubled and multiplied, but fear Allah that you may really prosper. Fear the fire which is prepared for those who reject faith and obey Allah and the Messenger that you may obtain mercy. Be quick in the race for forgiveness from your Lord and for a garden whose width is that of the whole of the heavens and of the earth prepared for the righteous. Those who spread freely whether in prosperity or in adversity who restrain anger and pardon all men for Allah loves those who do good. And those who, having done something to be ashamed of or wrong their own souls, earnestly bring Allah to mind and ask for forgiveness for their sins, and who can forgive sins except Allah, and are never obstinate in persisting knowingly in the wrong they have done. For such the reward is forgiveness from their Lord, and gardens with rivers flowing underneath an eternal dwelling, how excellent a recompense for those who work and strive, Many were the ways of life that have passed away before you. Travel through the earth and see what was the end of those who rejected truth. Here is a plain statement to men, a guidance and instruction to those who fear Allah. So lose not heart, nor fall into despair, for you must gain mastery if you are true in faith. If a wound has touched you, be sure a similar wound has touched the others. Such days of varying fortunes we give to men and men by turns, that Allah may know those that believe, and that he may take to himself from your ranks martyr witnesses to truth, and Allah loves not those that do wrong. Allah's object also is to purge those that are true in faith, and to deprive of blessing those that resist faith. Did you think that you would enter heaven without Allah testing those of you who fought hard in his cause, and remain steadfast? You did indeed wish for death before you met it. Now you've seen it with your own eyes, and you flinch. Muhammad is no more than a messenger. Many were the messengers that passed away before him. If he died or were slain, will you then turn back on your heels? If any did turn back on his heels, 
not the least harm will he do to Allah. But Allah, on the other hand, will swiftly reward those who serve him with gratitude. Nor can a soul die except by Allah's leave, the term being fixed as by writing. If any do desire reward in this life, we shall give it to him. And if any do desire reward in the hereafter, we shall give it to him and swiftly shall we reward those that serve us with gratitude. How many of the prophets fought in Allah's way, and with them fought large bands of godly men, but they never lost heart. If they met with disaster in Allah's way, nor did they weaken in will, nor give in, and Allah loves those who are firm and steadfast. All that they said was, Our Lord, forgive us our sins, and anything we may have done that transgressed our duty. Establish our feet firmly, and help us against those that resist faith. And Allah gave them a reward in this world, and the excellent reward of the hereafter. For Allah loves those who do good. O you who believe, if you obey the unbelievers, they will drive you back on your heels, and you will turn back from faith to your own loss. May Allah is your protector, and he is the best of helpers. Soon shall we cast terror into the hearts of the unbelievers, for that they join companions with Allah, for which he had sent no authority, their abode will be the fire, and evil is the home of the wrongdoers. Allah did indeed fulfill his promise to you, when you with his permission were about to annihilate your enemy, until you flinched and fell to disputing about the order and disobeyed it after he brought you in sight of the booty which you covet. Among you are some that hanker after this world and some that desire the hereafter. Then did he divert you from your foes in order to test you, but he forgave you, for Allah is full of grace to those who believe. Behold, you were climbing up the high ground without even casting a side glance at anyone, and the messenger in your rear was calling you back. There did Allah give you one distress after another by way of requital, to teach you not to grieve for the booty that had escaped you and for the ill that had befallen you. For Allah is well aware of all that you do. After the excitement of the distress, he sent down calm on a band of you, overcome with slumber, while another band was stirred to anxiety by their own feelings. Moved by wrong suspicions of Allah, suspicions due to ignorance, they said, what affair is this of ours? Say thou, indeed, this affair is holy Allah's. They hide in their minds what they dare not reveal to you. They say to themselves, If we had had anything to do with this affair, we should not have been in the slaughter here. Say, even if you had remained in your homes, those for whom death was decreed would certainly have gone forth to the place of their death. But all this was that Allah might test what is in your breasts and purge what is in your hearts. For Allah knows well the secrets of your hearts. Those of you who turned back on the day the two hosts met, it was Satan who caused them to fail, because of some evil they had done. But Allah has blotted out their fault, for Allah is oft forgiving, most forbearing. O you who believe, be not like the unbelievers who say of their brethren when they are travelling through the earth or engaged in fighting, if they had stayed with us, they would not have died or been slain. This that Allah may make it a cause of sighs and regrets in their heart. It is Allah that gives life and death, and Allah sees well all that you do. And if you are slain or die in the way of Allah, forgiveness and mercy from Allah are far better than all they could amass. And if you die or are slain, lo, it is unto Allah that you are brought together. It is part of the mercy of Allah that you do deal gently with them. Were you severe or harsh-hearted, they would have broken away from about you. So, pass over their faults, and ask for Allah's forgiveness for them, and consult them in affairs of moment. Then, when you have taken a decision, put your trust in Allah, for Allah loves those who put their trust in Him. If Allah helps you, none can overcome you. If he forsakes you, who is there after that that can help you? In Allah, then, let believers put their trust. No prophet could ever be false to his trust. If any person is so false, he shall on the day of judgment restore what he misappropriated. Then shall every soul receive its due, whatever it earned, and none shall be dealt with unjustly.
Is the man who follows the good pleasure of Allah like the man who draws on himself the wrath of Allah and whose abode is in hell a woeful refuge? They are in varying grades in the sight of Allah and Allah sees well all that they do. Allah did confer great favor on the believers when he sent among them a messenger from among themselves rehearsing unto them the signs of Allah, sanctifying them and instructing them in scripture and wisdom while before that they had been in manifest error. What, when a single disaster smites you, although you smote your enemies with one twice as great? Do you say, Where is this? Say to them, It is from yourselves, for Allah has power over all things. What you suffered on the day the two armies met was with the leave of Allah, in order that he might test the believers. And the hypocrites also, these were told, Come fight in the way of Allah, or at least drive the foe from your city. They said, Had we known there would be a fight, we should certainly have followed you. They were that day nearer to unbelief than to faith, saying with their lips what was not in their hearts. But Allah has full knowledge of all they conceal. They are the ones that say of their brethren slain, while they themselves sit at ease, if only they had listened to us. They would not have been slain. Say, avert death from your own selves if you speak the truth. Think not of those who are slain in Allah's way as dead. Nay, they live, finding their sustenance in the presence of their Lord. They rejoice in the bounty provided by Allah. And with regard to those left behind, who have not yet joined them in their bliss, the martyrs glory in the fact that on them is no fear, nor have they cause to grieve. They glory in the grace and the bounty from Allah, and in the fact that Allah suffers not the reward of the faithful to be lost in the least. Of those who answered the call of Allah and the Messenger, even after being wounded, those who do right and refrain from wrong have a great reward. Men said to them, A great army is gathering against you, so fear them, but it only increased their faith. They said, For us Allah suffices, and he is the best disposer of affairs. And they returned with grace and bounty from Allah. No harm ever touched them, for they followed the good pleasure of Allah, and Allah is the Lord of bounties unbounded. It is only the evil one that suggests to you the fear of his votaries, but you are not afraid of them, but fear me if you have faith. Let not those grieve you who rush headlong into unbelief. Not the least harm will they do to Allah. Allah's plan is that he will give them no portion in the hereafter, but a severe punishment. Those who purchase unbelief at the price of faith, not the least harm will they do to Allah, but they will have a grievous punishment. Let not the unbelievers think that our respite to them is good for themselves. We grant them respite, that they may grow in their iniquity, but they will have a shameful punishment. Allah will not leave the believers in the state in which you are now until he separates what is evil from what is good. Nor will Allah disclose to you the secrets of the unseen, but he chooses of his messengers for the purpose whom he pleases. So believe in Allah and his messengers. And if you believe and do right, you have a reward without measure. And let not those who covetously withheld of the gifts which Allah has given them of his grace think that it is good for them, nay, it will be the worse for them. Soon shall the things which they covetously withheld be tied to their necks like a twisted collar on the day of judgment. To Allah belongs the heritage of the heavens and the earth, and Allah is well acquainted with all that you do. Allah has heard the taunt of those who say, Truly, Allah is indigent and we are rich. We shall certainly record their word and their act of slaying the prophets in defiance of right, and we shall say, Taste you the penalty of the scorching fire. This is because of the unrighteous deeds which your hands sent on before you, for Allah never harms those who serve him. They also said, Allah took our promise not to believe in a messenger unless he showed us a sacrifice consumed by fire from heaven. Say, there came to you messengers before me with clear signs, and even with what you ask for, why then did you slay them if you speak the truth? Then, if they reject you, so were rejected messengers before you, who came with clear signs and the scriptures and the book of enlightenment.
Every soul shall have a taste of death, and only on the day of judgment shall you be paid your full recompense. Only he who is saved far from the fire and admitted to the garden will have attained the object of life. For the life of this world is but goods and chattels of deception. You shall certainly be tried and tested in your possessions and in your personal selves, and you shall certainly hear much that will grieve you from those who received the book before you and from those who worship many gods. But if you persevere patiently and guard against evil, then that will be a determining factor in all affairs. And remember, Allah took a covenant from the people of the book to make it known and clear to mankind and not to hide it, but they threw it away behind their backs and purchased with it some miserable gain, and vile was the bargain they made. Think not that those who exult in what they have brought about and love to be praised for what they have not done Think not that they can escape the penalty, for them is a penalty grievous indeed. To Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth, and Allah has power over all things. Behold, in the creation of the heavens and the earth, and the alternation of night and day, there are indeed signs for men of understanding. Men who celebrate the praises of Allah, standing, sitting, and lying down on their sides, and contemplate the wonders of creation in the heavens and the earth, with the thought, Our Lord, not for nothing have you created all this. Glory to you. Give us salvation from the penalty of the fire. Our Lord, any whom you admit to the fire, truly you cover with shame, and never will wrongdoers find any helper. Our Lord, we have heard the call of one calling us to faith. Believe you in the Lord, and we have believed. Our Lord, forgive us our sins, blot out from us our iniquities, and take to yourself our souls in the company of the righteous. Our Lord, grant us what you did promise unto us through your messengers, and save us from shame on the day of judgment, for you never break your promise. And their Lord has accepted of them and answered them, Never will I suffer to be lost the work of any of you, be he male or female, you are from one another. Those who have left their homes and were driven out therefrom, and suffered harm in my cause, and fought and were slain, verily, I will blot out from them their iniquities, and admit them into gardens with rivers flowing beneath. A reward from the presence of Allah, and from His presence, is the best of rewards. Let not the strutting about of the unbelievers through the land deceive you. Little is it for enjoyment. The ultimate abode is hell. What an evil bed to lie on. On the other hand, for those who fear their Lord are gardens with rivers flowing beneath. Therein are they to dwell forever. A gift from the presence of Allah, and that which is in the presence of Allah is the best bliss for the righteous. And there are certainly among the people of the book those who believe in Allah, in the revelation to you, and in the revelation to them, Bowing in humility to Allah, they will not sell the signs of Allah for a miserable gain. For them is a reward with their Lord, and Allah is swift in account. O you who believe, persevere in patience and constancy, vie in such perseverance. Strengthen each other, and fear Allah that you may prosper.